Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today, this design, it's a balloon animal using the quick link. So this is a technique that we already practiced making the tiger. So now let's make the lion. This is uh, the one I made. So this is the one we're gonna make. I, it's just the idea. Because for this design, I use 160, like uh, Betalatex for the tail. You know, I have an extra one because you just need maybe this extra one but um, let's see what happens. So the, the little extra detail here of the tail is gonna be the same at the brown to 60. So the last piece, you can just adapt it here. And then it's, um, it's this cute. I think it's a very cute way to make a lion. So let's start it. Uh, so let's start, I was, looking, sorry, I was looking for a text message. A client is sending me, but focus Cecilia this is a balloon tutorial and let's do it now the last tutorial I'll show you that even if you don't have a quick link or linking balloon you can use a five inch round you just have to attach the racing bead so now because for the tiger we use a regular round balloon we're going to use now a linking balloon so you can see you know how practical it is to have a linking or quick link or link balloon there are different names depending on the brand this one probably it's a Decomex because those are the balloons that after pandemic, you know, it's a new brand and it was more available than Qualitex or Vitalitex. And Gemaris for me is almost impossible. But I'm excited because in two days I'm going to Bling Bling Jam at Las Vegas and there's going to be a, a kind of a balloon store. It's from all Americans, I think balloons, they sell balloons and, and I'm excited to see because I'm sure they will have Gemar. So I'm going to get some there. <laughs> okay, so now let's go with what I have here. It's a linking balloon, six inch round from uh, Decomex. So you just inflate it almost all the way, but then loose the air until it fits in the palm of your hand. Okay, right there. Yeah. Now you're gonna tie it close to the nasso. So the trick about this idea is you're just gonna squish the air. You just measure a hand. So that's gonna be the bar D, and then you just it, because it's soft and squishable the rest, you're gonna measure like approximately like two finger bubble, something like this. It's probably it's probably two or three finger bubbles, soft and squishable, and that one you're gonna finish twist. So you have this shape. This shape is very popular because you can also make bodies. Look at this. This can be a bumblebee, this can be a bee, this can be lots of different animals. And if you have it this way, it's just changing, you know, the position. It can be a lot of different other animals like tigers, mm, elephants. I was thinking cat, uh, you know, and this time it's going to be a lion. You play with the colors. So in this time, yellow for the body. So the main can be orange or brown. So it's up to you. So for this one, I use mm, the main or brown. I'm thinking if should I change it orange? But no, right? Let's keep it with brown. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it with brown. So now, you just need a 260 brown, or a 160, but if it's Decomex. If it's not, let's go with just a 260 uh, brown, because, let me blow this. The, what I noticed about Decomex, it's a very, it's, a, it's okay, the brand is fine, I like it there. The balloons 260 are very long, but they doesn't accommodate the shape, you know, like when you bend it, squish, they don't keep the shape as good as a Qualitex or Vitalitex. So that's something maybe they will improve. Um, I hope soon. <laughs> so this is a, you inflate your balloon approximately like a seven finger tail, okay? Tie it and you have it here. So now you can start from here, but actually keep it because I'm thinking, let's start with the yellow. So I'm using Decomex yellow 160. Why? Because it's, I think it's better because it's not that skinny and it's not that thick. So the legs are gonna be looking good. And then the rest, you know, here is gonna be okay. So it's up to you. Now, remember for the tiger, do you remember I start using a white or it was, what is this brand? Uh, this color peach or blush 260 and sometimes I recommend to do that because you know this is for sure what you're gonna be using it I'm using blush because I'm thinking sometimes white you don't see much of the details when I'm twisting it so let's go back <laughs> and let's start when you start doing this for kids you know 
and you can ask what animal would you like if this is a series using quick links so you know for sure you're going to use the quick link but depending the animal you're going to choose the color for the quick link but one that i'm sure is going to be sure you're going to use it is going to be the one that is going to be for the paws for the cheeks paws cheeks and eyeballs and all that is going to be one balloon a white blush ivory you know very soft color okay so i'm gonna do that i know this is the focus i just want to be able to share with you something and then while it's downloading i'm gonna be working on what i have to do today because today i have an event that is the neighborhood night out it's an event happening every year on the same day of the each year so it's something that i am very grateful because i am constantly you know have this event for sure once a year so it's a a four no three hours event you can stay longer if you want but it's a three hour event that i'm going to be twisting balloons and plus they pay for pre-made so that's why i'm going to be pre-made in balloons but before that let's show you what i'm have here so this one is approximately nine finger tail and you're going to start making what for example the paws i do already this before so it's like a two or three finger bubble let's make it two two finger bubble pinch twist locked another two finger bubble pinch twist you have to make four of these so two the first part and then you have to make two more for the back legs you see and this is also is creating a base for where the bracelet is going to be attached the wristband bracelet so now you're going to cut but leave a tip so make sure you leave in a tip so then that's going to connect with the legs okay there we go now you tie this and let's make like three finger bubble, another soft and squishable three finger bubble, twist it together, lock them, and make a double pinch twist. That's what I'm doing. Now you have what is gonna be those cheeks. Now you cut, leave in a tip, leave a tip, leave it somewhere close to you or give it to the kid so the kid can be your assistant. They feel very special, you know, important when you Consider it as, a, you know, responsible for those balloons. <laughs> now, one finger bubble, pinch twist. Now, all this is already repeating from the last tutorial, remember? That it was a tiger. You squish the air and twist, leaving like a one finger space without a stretching, because the stretching is going to be much longer, and then you squish. Lose the air, you don't need that anymore. So you just measure approximately another one finger bubble. Things doesn't have to be perfect, but you just try and do your best. That means with measurements, especially when you're doing this in a fast, maybe one eyeball is bigger and one is smaller. With practice, you will get in closer. Okay, so you have this shape. Now, you can cut the excess. Make sure you tie your balloon two times at least. That's why it's secure and doesn't gonna get a twist. And then cut the excess. That means all those pieces, like, keep it clean if it's possible. You know, because all depends on the time. Now, this is like one finger without a stretching. A stretching is going to be a little bit longer. This is a very cool technique. Ah, I love this technique. So now we have all that 260 in these three things. You keep it safe. You keep it somewhere. And let's keep moving. Remember, we already have this. So we are going to grab and inflate that 160 Decomex yellow. Uh, if you don't have 160 Decomex, go and try with a 260 balloon yellow, okay? It's gonna be okay. So this one, you don't have to inflate it that much, actually. You have to blow it like, remember before I say, like eight finger, nine finger tail. And you're gonna start attaching it here. You're gonna make um, two little loops. So let's start it. Bam, bam, bam. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe we can find another easier way. We're gonna start this way. Yes, I think that's gonna be much easier if you make a three finger loop. Those are gonna be the ears. And another three finger loop, okay? And then you're gonna touch it right here where the tip of the quickling is. Yep. Okay. Then you're gonna go down. So look how does the shape going. You're gonna go down. All the way and twist there. From here, you're gonna make loops for chicks in the back. That is like approximately three finger loops. So you squish and pass this around 
going to squish again to the other side. So you have one side here. You need another look this way. So let's do that. You squish before you twist. That's going to help you design the balloon. So you have this, something like this. Okay. Later you are going to accommodate things. So it's going to be something more like this. Look at that. This already has the shape of an animal in a cartoonish way, right? So now with the rest, if you still have left over, you can go ahead and measure like four or five finger long and then squish and go back with a four or five finger long. Okay? And look, you can be here already and decide, well, I want this to be the tail. Now, it's up to you if you want this long for the tail. If it's a cat, maybe this long is going to be okay. But it's up to you because at the end, I think it's going to be also another balloon in bow. So that means there's going to be another balloon, 160, the Ecomex yellow or a 260 balloon. It's up to you what you have available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make here pinch twist, another pinch twist. And that's going to be the tail. But even if I, because I know I'm going to use another balloon, I can just get rid of this. Okay, get rid of this. Pass this around. And then attach the second balloon 160. 160, I'm saying, but remember, you can make it with a 260 yellow and it's gonna work. Okay, it's not. Now, when you are here, you attach it and we're gonna follow this. From here, again, the second front leg, the second back leg, and then the tail. So, what I like about this idea is then you can tell the kids how long you want the tail of your lion to be. In case you have time to uh, you know, ask questions, right? So I'm just passing there, four or five finger long, twist it around so it's secure, and then go up with a four or five finger long, go around this two pinch twist that is representing the booty of the tiger, or I mean the lion, pretty much it's all the same what we're doing here. And then from here you measure or you're gonna ask the team, but remember, you want this long, and then from here you're gonna end, and you're going to, this is approximately six finger long, and you're gonna make just two pinch twists or three pinch twists, okay? And cut. Now, you don't need this anymore, save it for your balloon scraps for other designs, it's always important. I always recommend you save your balloon, especially because now balloons are getting more expensive, so it's a good idea if you have the, the habit or of um, recycling of, you know, use your scraps. Um, okay, so you have this. Look, bam, bam, bam. So we already have two balloons, skinny balloons, and one quick link to make this. Now we have this, that we can start attaching it. So these are the four pinch trees, go for the palm, two, pass this around, and it's gonna be locked, so accommodate a pinch twist the way you prefer. I like sometimes to make it a little bit, you know, in horizontal. So, you see? And you can accommodate that in a moment, but something like that. Then, uh, what else? Uh, from here, you can attach this piece, the three finger bubble pinch twist, double pinch twist. Attach it here, look. Okay? And then pull one time and then the rest pass it around here and it's gonna be already secure. Okay. Now we have all these. Then the, the eyeballs, you can start attaching the eyeballs. That is the little one finger roll pinch twist and with the stretching part, remember? So you attach it there. Okay. And you have something like this. Now, if you have already a balloon scrap, good, let's go. Even this is small, it's gonna be okay for the nose, okay? And it can be any color, because sometimes lions, you can represent it with a pink, you know, and you can even ask the kid. Even if you put a purple uh, nose, it's gonna look, still looking like a lion, because it's representing, you know, with the last part that we're gonna add, that is gonna be the brown 260. Now, you just have a one bubble there, you can make this with a pinch twist, it's up to you. And I just have this available. And yeah, and attach it into the blush 260. 
and just keep it there. Look how cute. Now, this design already, it's looking like a, what I, I can say, a tiger. So this is already a tiger. So if you want to represent a cheetah, you know, a leopard, leopard, I don't know where. If you want to represent a cheetah, you just make the spots, you know, for a cheetah, it's yellow. So this is a cool way. Now, but this is a lion. So now you grab your 260, inflate it, remember, nine finger or eight finger tail, squish, make sure it's a, you're gonna start from here, up, to do, 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 down and up. You can start up here or down, it's up to you. I'm gonna start right here, okay? And the neck, so be careful because you don't wanna deflate the leg, you don't wanna deflate the neck, but just a touch it there. Um, and that's what I'm doing. So now you're gonna start to the sides. So how, or how I decide where the sides to go. I'm gonna start this way, look. It's connected in between. And then go all the way up. And then when you are here, you're gonna open the ear and try to make there three small two finger bubble pinch twists. Okay? Three small two finger bubble pinch twists. That's gonna help you to um, split the, the ears, you know, so the ears doesn't look that close to each other. So that's what I'm doing. And then you're gonna end up the other side. So look how you have the ears. Okay, then you can always move things if you prefer this to be in the front. So you have three brown loops. So you have something like that, something crazy, it looks cute. And then you're gonna go all the way down. Okay, all the way down. So now go all the way down. And, and then you are gonna go one time up in the middle. If you can, that will be awesome. If you can, save a little bit extra. A little extra round, but this is, you know, an option. And I think it can be cute. So the rest, you just make sure this, you tie it, you pass it around. But this little piece, just a little bit is gonna be good enough. You want something like, like that. Okay, it's an optional, doesn't have to happen. And if you don't have enough balloon, it's okay. Or if you have a balloon scrap, use it. But you're gonna have something like that. And a little bit, you know, like pointing to the end, but something like that. Now you're gonna attach it to the end of your tiger. Yeah. I mean, I say tiger, but it's because like, it's, it's so close to what I wanted to make. That's the, how I make the tiger. That's why I get confused. But this is a lion. So remember that tip here, make sure you pass it around. You can tie it if you want, or if you pass it around, or you can tie it with a quick clean tip. So then things are secure. Whatever it is, you know, more comfortable for you. So you have something like that. Now it's time to accommodate shapes or, you know, accommodate the bubbles, whatever. But pretty much the design is ready. Now you can always accommodate things. And something you decide, you know, is how you want this, um, how do you want this part, you know, this, the cheeks, you want it to be like this, or you can split it like here. You can, I mean, do this twisted, twisted this way. So now I'm gonna show you how it looks if you twist it that way. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make sure things doesn't get untwist. It is possible you just play with your balloon, accommodate it, and it's gonna fit, you know, the way you want. So, you see? So, now the design is pretty much ready. You just need a little bit of sharpie time. Yep, this design is a cute one, but you still uh, can play with sharpie time. So, let's, let's do that. So, you can always grab first black. So with the black, you just circle the center, like something like this. 
then some eyebrows just like this then you can make some pam pam dots some whiskers because it's pretty much a cat so you have something like that then you can make it cuter attaching a little balloon that it's gonna be some pink balloon scrap look i have this i always give scraps you see and you just grab the end of the balloon for a little bubble looks little bubble that's fine and then tie it soft and squishable and then you just attach it in the middle right here right there some pink remember this is maybe gonna look better when you try it with white instead of blush so it's up to you and also depending on what you have available so this can make your design cuter look now the design it's ready you tell me in the comments what do you think if you like it or not if you make it don't forget tag me you can find me and follow me on instagram as alpaca global balloons and there you can also tag me just at a alpaca global and that way i can see that you made it and, and that makes me super happy because that means you are understanding this crazy tutorial because i know of course i'm not perfect you know but i'm just trying to do my best in a fast way because the also thing is important for me is the time you know i don't have that much time but i enjoy a lot to be able to share you know what i can you know what i came out making you know with balloons so this is i think a very cute design very cute it kind of like gonna break the standards of just a simple lion balloon and it's not hard you know the trick it's using round balloons it's a very cool way to make also cute things because if you don't have 350 balloons so then you just play with that shape that is much wider for what is a five inch round now for balloon twisters you know it's easier for us to play with the smaller balloons so that's why the five inch round fits perfect and the good thing is if you want to do this bigger and impress more to someone especially if you want to make the special balloon figurine for the birthday kid you can make bigger balloons you can use instead of a quick link six inch round it can be a 11 or 12 inch round quick link so playing with that all the design is going to be bigger and that of course it's going to impress more your, your clients the kids but also you have to you know balance because it takes longer and i think this is a very cute way to make a balloon animal so now i show you with the same technique that you play with the quick link you can make already a tiger a lion and i already made before so check out my tutorials i made a, um, a lot of other animals peacocks uh what else turkey uh elephant so go visit my playlist that says animals and you will learn there how to make lots of cool animals you know and surprise you know your guests <laughs> awesome have a wonderful day and don't forget like comment subscribe collaborate with this channel all your collaboration is very well appreciated because it helps this channel to grow up to be much better like for example you can decorate the shell you can send anything to be able to decorate the shell that it's a, a space you know that i wish you know it can have more stuff so then it can look better but it's always there so whatever you send you will see it's there some things are very small but it's there <laughs> and sometimes you know i go and i close up and show what is in there so um what do you think don't forget uh well wish me like i'm gonna from here i think uh i'm gonna i'm planning to film you know the bling bling jam so you're gonna have an idea what it is a balloon convention uh, as much as i can because also depending on the time it's gonna be just i think three days but it's crazy busy so I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.